This is the LRN Listening Examination, January 2018. Level 2, C1. Section 1. Listen to 10 short conversations. For questions 1 to 10, choose the best answer, A, B or C. You will hear each conversation twice. You now have two minutes to read the questions. Mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Number one, next door neighbours. The boys next door are really getting on my nerves, James. I'm going to knock on their door and tell them to turn the music down. I'm not sure that's a good idea. It's not that late, Angie, and the music isn't so loud. I don't think that's the real reason you're angry. The boys next door are really getting on my nerves, James. I'm going to knock on their door and tell them to turn the music down. I'm not sure that's a good idea. It's not that late, Angie, and the music isn't so loud. I don't think that's the real reason you're angry. Number two. Going camping. I don't know about you, Christine, but I'm really looking forward to going camping and sleeping out in the open. Well, I'm sorry, Nick but I'm not. What happens if the weather turns worse or if we are attacked by animals? Can't we book a room in a hotel instead? I don't know about you, Christine, but I'm really looking forward to going camping and sleeping out in the open. Well, I'm sorry, Nick, but I'm not. What happens if the weather turns worse or if we are attacked by animals? Can't we book a room in a hotel instead? Number 3. Rumours at work. I can't believe that some colleagues of mine have been spreading rumours about me. It's outrageous, Brian. It seems that, for some reason, they have been trying to ruin your reputation at work. If I were you, Brenda, I would ignore them. Try not to show you're upset. The calmer you appear, the less likely it is that anyone will believe the rumours. I can't believe that some colleagues of mine have been spreading rumours about me. It's outrageous, Brian. It seems that, for some reason, they have been trying to ruin your reputation at work. If I were you, Brenda, I would ignore them. Try not to show you're upset. The calmer you appear, 
the less likely it is that anyone will believe the rumours. Number four. Change of plans. I'm really up for your brother's party tomorrow, Bill. I'm sorry, Jane. It's been called off. A problem has come up with our business and my brother and I are going to London tomorrow to take care of it. Oh, that's a pity. What about the two of us going out dancing at a club tonight, then, instead? Sounds fantastic. I'm really up for your brother's party tomorrow, Bill. I'm sorry, Jane. It's been called off. A problem has come up with our business and my brother and I are going to London tomorrow to take care of it. Oh, that's a pity. What about the two of us going out dancing at a club tonight, then, instead? Sounds fantastic. Number five. Returning home from the cinema. Guess what? I got pulled over by the police when I was coming back from the cinema. I assume it was for speeding again. What excuse did you make up this time to avoid getting fined, Louise? There was no need for that this time, Joe. I just forgot to use my indicator to signal a left turn. Fortunately, I got away with a verbal warning. Guess what? I got pulled over by the police when I was coming back from the cinema. I assume it was for speeding again. What excuse did you make up this time to avoid getting fined, Louise? There was no need for that this time, Joe. I just forgot to use my indicator to signal a left turn. Fortunately, I got away with a verbal warning. Number 6. Caffeine. My heart is beating too fast and I've got a terrible stomach ache. I'm pretty sure it's because you drink too much coffee, Steve. A reasonable amount of caffeine can have health benefits and boost focus, but in excess, it can damage your health. You're probably right, Maria. I think it's time I kicked my caffeine addiction. What do you think would be a good substitute? My heart is beating too fast and I've got a terrible stomach ache. I'm pretty sure it's because you drink too much coffee, Steve. A reasonable amount of caffeine can have health benefits and boost focus, but in excess, it can damage your health. You're probably right, Maria. I think it's time I kicked my caffeine addiction. What do you think would be a good substitute? Number 7. Choosing a university. Have you made up your mind about which university you're going to apply to, George? Not yet, Judy. First I have to decide what I want to study, and then I'll decide on the place. But I guess, whatever you decide, you are going to apply for a student loan. Definitely. Any part-time job I find won't cover the high fees and living costs. Have you made up your mind about which university you're going to apply to, George? Not yet, Judy. First I have to decide what I want to study, and then I'll decide on the place. But I guess, whatever you decide, you are going to apply for a student loan. Definitely. Any part-time job I find won't cover the high fees and living costs. Number 8. Cleaning Antique Furniture are you sure you know how to clean antique furniture, Vivian? I've done it many times before, Thomas. All I need is a little soap in warm water and a soft cloth. OK, and while you're doing that, I'll vacuum the floors. Are you sure you know how to clean antique furniture, Vivian? I've done it many times before, Thomas. All I need is a little soap in warm water and a soft cloth. OK, and while you're doing that, I'll vacuum the floors. Number 9. Missing an appointment. Driving in such weather without snow tyres was irresponsible of you, to say the least, Mark. You're right, Liz. But I had an appointment and I didn't want to miss it. But finally, you were forced to do so as your car got stuck in the snow for over an hour. You should have known better. 
Driving in such weather without snow tyres was irresponsible of you, to say the least, Mark. You're right, Liz. But I had an appointment and I didn't want to miss it. But finally, you were forced to do so as your car got stuck in the snow for over an hour. You should have known better. Number 10. Madame Tussaud. Did you get to visit Madame Tussaud's wax museum while in London, Emma? I wouldn't have missed it for anything, Jim. It was as amazing as I had thought it would be. Admission fees are high, though, aren't they? They are, but I booked my ticket online in advance and got a 30% discount. Did you get to visit Madame Tussaud's wax museum while in London, Emma? I wouldn't have missed it for anything, Jim. It was as amazing as I had thought it would be. Admission fees are high, though, aren't they? They are, but I booked my ticket online in advance and got a 30% discount. Section 2. Listen to three longer conversations. For questions 11 to 20, choose the best answer, A, B or C. You will hear each conversation twice. You now have two minutes to read the questions. Mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. A reality TV show. You aren't seriously thinking about participating in a reality TV show, are you, Christina? Why not, Michael? It could really get my singing career going. I've been practicing for so long now. I think it's about time I got in front of an audience. I can't deny your talents, Christina, and I'm sure you have a chance. But are you really up to facing the harsh criticisms of talent show judges if things backfire? I'm aware of how tough it can get, Michael, but I still want to give it a try. It's your call. When do auditions start? In three weeks, but I haven't chosen a song for it yet. Make sure you select one that suits your voice, and I've heard that if you stay away from very popular songs, the judges are often more impressed. You aren't seriously thinking about participating in a reality TV show, are you, Christina? Why not, Michael? It could really get my singing career going. I've been practicing for so long now. I think it's about time I got in front of an audience. I can't deny your talents, Christina, and I'm sure you have a chance. 
but are you really up to facing the harsh criticisms of talent show judges if things backfire? I'm aware of how tough it can get, Michael, but I still want to give it a try. It's your call. When do auditions start? In three weeks, but I haven't chosen a song for it yet. Make sure you select one that suits your voice, and I've heard that if you stay away from very popular songs, the judges are often more impressed. The football match. Hi, David. I didn't expect to see you home so early. I thought you would still be coming back from the soccer match. Well, it's all rather embarrassing, actually, Diane. I got the train. It was packed with fans, so I had to stand. It was thrilling, though, as everyone was singing and cheering. But when I got to the stadium, I realised that I had lost my ticket. Oh dear! Perhaps you dropped it, or maybe you left it at home. You sometimes put things in your other jacket and forget. That's what I thought. But when I got home, I searched everywhere. What I think happened was that someone stole it while I was on the train. Well, that does seem likely. But why didn't you buy another one? I thought of that. But it was this season's final match, and it was sold out. So I came back here to watch the match. Hi, David. I didn't expect to see you home so early. I thought you would still be coming back from the soccer match. Well, it's all rather embarrassing, actually, Diane. I got the train. It was packed with fans, so I had to stand. It was thrilling, though, as everyone was singing and cheering. But when I got to the stadium, I realised that I had lost my ticket. Oh dear! Perhaps you dropped it, or maybe you left it at home. You sometimes put things in your other jacket and forget. That's what I thought. But when I got home, I searched everywhere. What I think happened was that someone stole it while I was on the train. Well, that does seem likely. But why didn't you buy another one? I thought of that. But it was this season's final match, and it was sold out. So I came back here to watch the match. Misplacing car keys. I've looked everywhere, but I can't find my car keys. Have you seen them by any chance, Georgia? No, I haven't, Peter. When was the last time you saw them? I thought I had left them on the kitchen table when I came back home last night, but I'm not so sure now. If you had left them there, I would have seen them when I had my coffee this morning. I'm a bit worried about you, Peter. You've been quite absent-minded lately. I think it's all that stress at work. It's making me so forgetful. Do you think I should see someone about it? Well. Before you seek professional advice, I suggest you just practice keeping the same objects in the same place every time. I think that would be the best way to prevent you from losing things. Even on the busiest days, having such a routine will help you remember where you put things. I've looked everywhere, but I can't find my car keys. Have you seen them by any chance, Georgia? No. I haven't, Peter. When was the last time you saw them? I thought I had left them on the kitchen table when I came back home last night, but I'm not so sure now. If you had left them there, I would have seen them when I had my coffee this morning. I'm a bit worried about you, Peter. You've been quite absent-minded lately. I think it's all that stress at work. It's making me so forgetful. Do you think I should see someone about it? Well, before you seek professional advice, I suggest you just practice keeping the same objects in the same place every time. I think that would be the best way to prevent you from losing things. Even on the busiest days, having such a routine will help you remember where you put things. Section three. Listen to an extract from a radio talk about how close relationships and a satisfying job can make most of us happy. For questions twenty-one to twenty-five, choose the best answer: A, B, or C.
you will hear the extract twice. You now have one minute to look at the questions. Mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. What can lead to happiness varies from one person to another, or from one culture to another. There is no single thing that guarantees happiness. However, having close relationships and a satisfying job are believed to be two factors that can make most of us feel happy. As humans, we are by nature a social species, and as such, our happiness largely depends on the relationships we form. The better our social life is, the happier we feel. When our family and friends provide us with love and support, our self-confidence is boosted. Thinking highly of ourselves can, in turn, bring joy to our lives. In addition, a healthy social circle can keep us healthier. For example, when we are committed to our family and friends, we experience less stress. Less stress means that we feel healthier and therefore happier. Research has also shown that positive relationships can keep us fitter as we are less likely to give up exercising when we can do it together with someone we care about. On the other hand, Loneliness and unhealthy relationships can result in higher levels of stress and depression. Now, what is the relationship between work and happiness? Since we spend most of our waking hours at work, it is no wonder that our job plays a very important role in determining how happy we are. Research has shown that doing a job that we love may not always give us a high salary, but it can certainly be a great source of satisfaction and happiness as we can use our talents and skills constructively. Moreover, keeping ourselves focused and motivated becomes easier when we really enjoy our job. However, when it comes to money, the relationship becomes complicated. No one would deny that having enough money to cover our basic needs such as food, clothing and shelter can give us great pleasure. Unfortunately, working long hours to be able to buy more and more material things may result in loss of leisure time and less time with our family and friends. To conclude, having healthy relationships with our family and friends and the job we enjoy can add meaning and pleasure to our lives. However, there are different kinds of happiness and what triggers it is not always easy to measure objectively. Now, listen to the extract again. What can lead to happiness varies from one person to another or from one culture to another. There is no single thing that guarantees happiness. However, having close relationships and a satisfying job are believed to be two factors that can make most of us feel happy. As humans, we are by nature a social species, and as such, our happiness largely depends on the relationships we form. 
the better our social life is, the happier we feel. When our family and friends provide us with love and support, our self-confidence is boosted. Thinking highly of ourselves can, in turn, bring joy to our lives. In addition, a healthy social circle can keep us healthier. For example, when we are committed to our family and friends, we experience less stress. Less stress means that we feel healthier and therefore happier. Research has also shown that positive relationships can keep us fitter as we are less likely to give up exercising when we can do it together with someone we care about. On the other hand, loneliness and unhealthy relationships can result in higher levels of stress and depression. Now, what is the relationship between work and happiness? Since we spend most of our waking hours at work, it is no wonder that our job plays a very important role in determining how happy we are. Research has shown that doing a job that we love may not always give us a high salary, but it can certainly be a great source of satisfaction and happiness as we can use our talents and skills constructively. Moreover, keeping ourselves focused and motivated becomes easier when we really enjoy our job. However, when it comes to money, the relationship becomes complicated. No one would deny that having enough money to cover our basic needs such as food, clothing and shelter can give us great pleasure. Unfortunately, working long hours to be able to buy more and more material things may result in loss of leisure time and less time with our family and friends. To conclude, having healthy relationships with our family and friends and the job we enjoy can add meaning and pleasure to our lives. However, there are different kinds of happiness and what triggers it is not always easy to measure objectively. This is the end of the listening.